Uh, I'm here with HGST. Uh, my name is Bobby Lombardi. Um, I head up market development for the G Technology side of the business, which is our branded business. So when you think of HGST, you may think of hard drives, because we are indeed a storage manufacturer. Um, but we do also have a branded uh, part of the company, which makes essentially direct attached storage. Um, if you haven't seen our products, we do have a table outside. Come check it out. Um, we do make, I would I'd like to think from soup to nuts, the entire chain of direct attached storage, right? So we. Um, really well known for taking the HGST two and a half inch drives, three and a half inch spindle drives, and putting them into some nice cases, um, single drives, portable use, put them in a backpack type thing, but all the way up into say four bay, six bay, eight bay rate type products. Um, in fact, the top of our line we have on the table out there, it's a 64 terabyte, eight bay Thunderbolt two product, and it can get over a gigabyte a second. So something to definitely check out, and the price point's quite good. So you're looking at like $7,000 for about 64 terabytes of storage, direct attached. Um, that's significant, and you can cascade them, connect six of them together in a chain as well. So certainly worth looking at, and you can uh, configure them rate zero, rate five. So that is what we're good at. There's been a lot going on at HGST. So again, going back, you might think of us as a storage spindle company. Um, however, we also have flash companies, and one of the big announcements this year was the SN100 series. So this is um, flash products that we have in two and a half inch form factor, but also PCIe. And what you'll be looking at is PCIe 3.0, um, over four terabytes on a single card and getting over four gigabytes a second on the transfer rate. So that is pretty significant. So if you have workflows that are, say, um, video editing, color correction, titling, uh, virtual effects, graphics effects, anything to do with high access, you can get essentially these cards and daisy chain them together too inside the PCIe slot. So it wouldn't be abnormal to do, say, three cards together for, say, 12 terabytes of flash and be getting over four gigabytes a second on those products. Um, so really great stuff. Um, some other announcements that we had uh, this year, you would have seen me put out uh, six terabyte, eight terabyte, and 10 terabyte SMR uh, spindle drives as well. And that is significant because um, not just any drives, these are media enterprise class drives. You have MTBF ratings over 2.5 million hours. Um, and these are the same products that you're gonna find in our G Technology products. So when you're thinking about say a four bay device, two bay device, or even an eight bay device like we have on the table out there, we're not using say inexpensive drives. All the drives in those products are indeed media enterprise class drives from HGST. Um, so when I was saying about that $7,000 price point for 64 terabytes Thunderbolt 2, all eight drives that are in that product are the eight terabyte media enterprise class drives. Um, some interesting specs on those products. We get about 160 megabytes a second on say that eight terabyte drive. The six terabyte has a sweet spot, gets about two, over 200 megabytes a second. So if you're looking to you know, configure, say, a very fast four bay RAID, even if it's from a third party manufacturer or not from GTEC, um, take a look at our four bay NAS kits that you can get. I mean, think about that, you know, four drives getting all over 200 megabytes a second in a RAID zero configuration in a four bay Thunderbolt two chassis, whether it's ours or Dobro or some, someone else's. I mean, you could be building a very small compact RAID that's giving you 24 terabytes at over 800 megabytes a second in RAID zero. Awesome. That's pretty cool. So in the products that we have, in the two and a half inch line of HGST products that we you know, put together, um, they haven't been rated for 2.5 million hours of MTBF, but they're getting there. In fact, we're talking about actually um, going down that route because there, there really isn't a media enterprise class two and a halfs, but I think we can get there. And we've been talking about that a bit now. Yeah, it's, but there's a future, a absolutely. In fact, I would say, if you're not familiar with the EV series, come check it out, it's pretty exciting. We, we love this idea of taking a small portable drive that you'll throw in your backpack, and it's really all about DIT, onset, ingest, like fill up these like you would carts and then come back to the RAID or say the desktop G-Doc as we call it and plug them in and then it's going to basically offload those on Thunderbolt 2 quickly so you can put them into the editing rig and then or use those as a delivery mechanism as well. Put the dailies on there and put it in a padded envelope. I mean if it's the ATC case that I was just talking about, that can sustain a six foot drop to concrete repetitively, roll it over with a car. It's got um, a 4,000 pound rollover pressure, 1,000 pound direct pressure. So just that drive and a padded envelope to send it off. Um, and, that, and that's not just a case, by the way. That case actually has a tethered cable that comes off of it, and it can be a USB 3 connection or a Thunderbolt connection. So it's brand new. That We launched that probably about three, four months ago or whatever that was. Um, it's doing very well for us, and, and it looks really sexy.